Welcome to our little guide to the CCPN online conference hosted using the Hopin platform. We will be sending you a link to a web page which will look a little bit like this. You can see that here I've created a demo version which I'll be showing you. This page has some information about the conference, our sponsors and the schedule. To join the conference simply click on join event and you'll then need to sign up. So let me just fill this in on behalf of Ada Lovelace. And now, because the event is already live, I'm directly within the event venue. If you sign up in advance of the conference, then you will be given a link that you can use once the conference goes live, and you'll receive some reminder emails from Hopin as well. This is what the main event page looks like. As you can see on the left, this is the reception page. There is a little welcome and we'll add a link to this video so you can have another look at it if you like. And again, sponsors and the programme. Now on the right you can see this chat area. If I want, I can write something in here. And now you can see that I've added a message to the chat. Polls, we probably won't be using these, but if we do, here they are. People gives you a list of all the other attendees. You can link up with people if you want. So if I click on Charles Babbage, for example, I can then invite him to a video call, a one-to-one -one video chat. Or I can also send him a message. You will notice up here this little envelope symbol. If there is a red dot there, then someone has sent you a message. So here, someone has sent me a message. I can now click on people, and go to messages and see that Alan Turing has sent me a message saying great that I've made it. Now if you don't want to see all of this you can simply click it away using this little arrow and then the main part will become enlarged. Our plenary talks will occur in the stage area. Simply on the side click on stage. Now at the moment you can see that we don't have anything happening here, no one is giving a talk. We may put up a video for you to watch while there are no plenary talks in progress. So let's return again when someone is giving a talk. I think Alan Turing may be speaking now, so let's go back to the stage area. And indeed, here we are. Here is his first slide on cracking the Enigma code. Unfortunately, Alan's webcam isn't working. If it was, we would see a little picture of him up here in the corner. I can, if I want, click down here to make this full screen so that I have an even better view of the slides. How am I going to ask a question at the end of the talk? Well, if I open up the side here again, then I can see that in the chat I've got this event chat where I posted something earlier, and then there is the stage chat. That is a chat area that is just confined to the stage. And so this is where I can ask Alan a question after his talk. For the workshop, we're going to be using the sessions area. You can see here that there are several different sessions that you can click on. This installation help one we're going to be using on Wednesday the 15th for anybody who wants help with installing their software in advance of the workshop. And then these other ones you can think of as individual Zoom rooms and each member of the CCPN team is going to have their own room where they will be for the duration of the workshop. So there's one for Vicky, Luca, Ed, Elisa and Gerta. At various times we will be giving demos and you can then join to watch those. For the rest of the time you can join any team member to ask questions or share your screen if you need any help with troubleshooting. Now I'm going to join Ed session here. You can see that actually Charles Babbage is going to be moderating it today. So I'm going to click on that and if Charles Babbage had his webcam on then I would be able to see him here. You can see at the top that one out of a possible five people are currently in this session sharing their video or their screen and two people are currently watching. So that's just Charles and me but I think Alan Turing might join us in a moment. 
Now you can see this has gone up to three because we have three people watching this session. So now Charles is going to share his screen with us. If his video were on as well, then we would see that alongside his screen. Now I've got a problem, so I'm going to share my screen with Charles so that he can see what is going on and give me some advice. So I'm going to click on share audio and video. My browser is now asking me if I want to let Hopin use my camera and my microphone. If I had different cameras or microphones, I could choose which one to use. And then I simply click on allow. And then on apply. I now have to wait a moment. It says waiting for approval until Charles gives me access to make sure that everyone isn't joining at the same time. So now my video is visible here as well. And at the bottom, you can see that I can switch my video off again or my microphone off. And here I can do my screen sharing. I could also mute Charles if I so wanted. So I'm going to have a go at the screen sharing. Now again, I'm being asked for permission by the browser. This looks a little bit different depending on which browser you use. You can generally select which screen or window you would like to share. Then click Allow. You can see that by default the program will give each screen equal space. But if I double click on one, then everything else is minimised and goes to the side and I can see the other one more clearly. To stop screen sharing, I just click on this again. In order to leave the session, I need to click up here on Leave. This doesn't actually take me out of the session, but stops my video and audio. So now I am just an observer again, rather than a participant. If you are participating in a session and then go directly to another part of the website, say the stage or reception, you will also be asked if you want to leave the session, but we found that sometimes that leave button doesn't work very well and you have to click on the leave in the top right corner. We will also be using the sessions area of the website for our pub quiz social. Each team or table will have its own session and we'll make those private so you can participate, but if you're not participating, then you can't view it. So each team can deliberate its answers in private and just generally socialise and have a conversation without others eavesdropping. Our poster session will run in the expo area. You can see here a list of the posters. I'm going to click on this one as an example. This is what it looks like. It's a video which I'm going to play. and it just flicks through the different slides that the presenter has made available to us. So obviously at any point I can click on pause to have a look at a slide in a bit more detail and then press play to continue on to the next slide. At the moment I've got these things on the side minimised. If I open that up again you can see what else there is in the way of information about the poster. The title, authors, web links, and the abstract. Note that in the chat there is again the main event chat and then there is a separate booth chat which is local to this poster. So this is what the posters will be like for most of the conference. You can look at any poster you like and make comments in the chat. We have offered for poster presenters to add sound to their slides and send us a little presentation video. So you may find that some poster videos are with sound and some are without. Now during the actual poster session itself, we will be switching all the posters from videos to live sessions, indicated by these little live buttons. So if I click on this now, then I see a session, essentially like the ones I was just showing you as part of the workshop. The poster presenter will be able to join and share their screen to do their presentation, and up to eight other people will also be able to join for a live discussion of the poster presentation. We will be creating a schedule of presentations and discussion group members based on people's advanced selections. Those not in the discussion group can just watch it here without taking part. So I hope this has given you a feel for the way in which the conference website works. It will be live from Wednesday the 15th of July at 12 noon British summer time. And so if you like, you can enter at any point after that and have a look round, make yourself familiar with the different areas, in particular perhaps take a look at some of the posters. We hope that you won't feel inhibited about joining sessions and having your camera on or sharing your screen. If we were at a real conference, we would all be seeing each other as well. 
So hopefully this will have a nice interactive feel to it, a bit like a normal conference. We look forward to seeing you.